Well, here we go then, and some access towards the lower bomb side. Bear in mind there are no defuse kits on the Navi side here. They come for five sets of Kevlar. That means they need plenty of headshots, but if anything to go by is yesterday, they've got plenty of that in reserve. We will see with one minute left on the clock, one smoke remaining. Vent presence here. Looks like maybe an upper split from the vent. Simple to open things up. Oh, and Amanek's going to be jiving straight out of those vents. It's about contact. Simple, keeping him busy. Amanek retreats straight up towards the top side, and he can apply pressure to Boomich. But on the site, he's taken two already. Boomich leading by example. A triple kill to start off the grand final. And Na'Vi convert. One to zero. There's no way Electronic doesn't move after that smoke fades. It's flamey, though. He was phenomenal in holding this position. And for now, this is a good response from G2. Molly off the response from Simple. Boomich, however, has given Na'Vi the opening first blood. Here we go, then. Towards lower they go. Flamey looking to get one. Manages to stay alive as well. He's still active there. He wants to find oh. a bit more. This is great from Boomich. As he'll rotate through, he's absolutely everywhere on the map right now. Jax, he pulls one back with low HP Flamey as well. He just wants to hide, but he does get another dink off. That's fair enough. They go down to a three versus one. Jax, they know exactly where he is, and Flamey's confirmed that significant damage has been inflicted here. He needs to try and get the bomb down for the extra money here, but won't be able to pull that one off. Goes to the open plan. Bomb goes down, but should be taken care of by Electronic there. Nice round from Na'Vi. Can't push through that smoke. They have to respect it. And now they're going to have to dump utility, not knowing numbers on the other side. Boomish to be tested now. Sees a couple crossover, but if they see him, M4, not the ideal weapon for this job. Going to rotate back towards Squeaky and feign the fact he's gone through the door. I love it. Mind games, and he's got the frag onto Amanek. Another one, perhaps, on the chopping block. Flamey, it's a hard shot to hit, and instead his attention drawn between two different options. A double kill available for him. But for now, the advantage remains in Na'Vi's hands. G2, they're in no rush, and Hunter, that could be enough of a catalyst. Into the site, they flood. Bomb goes down, simple hits. A great shot there. Electronics are the scene of the crime as well. They're starting to flood in towards the lower bomb site. Just Hunter remains. 35 seconds on the clock, and the bomb couldn't be in a worse position for him. Has to try and recover and fend off three angry CTs on the other side. They're playing a very disciplined game as well. They're allowing him to have the bomb, knowing he can't get towards upper, and he needs to get a quick kill here. I think he has simple no problem. That's a kill on the back that he should be able to pick up here. He's gone right past him, oh, I can't no. believe it. No, he didn't no, check no, it. No. That's insane. What's going on? Oh, he's going to see him now, and he gets the frag, doesn't rush it. Boomich is on decom with 10 seconds left. If Hunter plays this right, if Boomich overextends, he's going to hold it. And that's a free frag for Na'Vi, door open. Oh, you rascal, Boomich! Oh. oh, you cheeky monkey. That's another one for Na'Vi. <laughs> and that HE, I've got a feeling that's going to do a boatload of damage. Here we go, Alex. Oh, it's going to oh. hurt a lot. They're trying to run, but you can't. Boomich on the other side. He manages to find the bomb at least. Flamey chiming in as well. Nice spray, but still a three on three for now. Electronic keeps the advantage in favor of Na'Vi. Kenny and Almanek already a double for the star of the G2 show towards the vents. And so with 60 seconds, they're going to let Almanek kind of try and draw CT attention elsewhere. He would. It's very unlikely he takes this fight dry. You can see he's just going to be posturing. A flashbang out the door, keeping attention that way. Now the cross. Gosh, Simple does not miss again. Oh! And another. Double kill to connect for Simple, seven and zero. You can see he's not even looking at his monitor. He is simply waiting for the call. One that, word. That's a smoke towards heaven, I assume. And we'll see whether that's going to work out for them. It's an upper execution. Oh, Molotov towards the HUD as well. They're flashing in, and here they come. Uh, oh, Molotov. the Molly is so good. Look at them. Perfecto, Simple. They're burning, but Simple through the fire and flames. He finds his Dragon Force, only the first. As we get into the three versus four, there is plenty of money here for Na'Vi, but it doesn't look like necessarily going for the round victory. Just trying to hold them in towards the bomb site, and Flamey might have found them an opening here. It is going to be Boomich bringing it back to the two versus two. Down he drops, and Flamey now in the one versus one. He might have a chance in this. We'll see what he can do as he'll actually have to just nade towards Squeaky, touch the bomb, hope for the best here. He's going to take one hell of a shot. The close things out! Has he actually pulled it off? I don't think he has. It's too far gone. No, That's no, one no. hell of an effort. It's not going to work out, but still a smile on his face. It's a statement of a round regardless as we'll see them cross over there is a bit of a gap there i didn't think electronic was aware of it and he'll let them cross over but the big man's waiting for them the big bad wolf of csgo <laughs> holding wow. towards his secret steps you know he's gonna nail one of these and get the hell out of there holds a more defensive line do they dare challenge him again with a huff and a puff he's already blown one down jack's gone it does seem like that could be enough to deter g2 they're changing their plans on the fly simple Sending them towards Electronics Domain, we call them the duo, and you can see why, just between them, rock and a hard place. The new names for Na'Vi's duo, because again, an advantage for Na'Vi, and only 18 seconds for the rest of these Frenchmen.
to make this round a reality. That's such a good point. What are you going to do here? You've got 10 seconds, you know, we're near a bomb site. Amonex is going to have to make a load of noise here. Flashing as his teammates get ready towards main, but there's so many areas to check. A good effort here so far. Four seconds, no chance of a plant. But Perfecto, just seeing the fact that, you know, it wasn't, what, six months ago, I was casting him at the Berlin Minor for Simon so Gaming, funny. Yeah. and he's now in the grand final of Katowice. It yeah. just, it, it's just gorgeous. And it's Counter-Strike at its very best. Nice work from Simple. It normally would overcommit to that one. Wait till the back of the come in. <laughs> And the meat grinder is looking very efficient today. What's happening elsewhere on the map? We have got Nexa getting ready towards the ramp. He's hoping they push towards the lobby, hunt for some information. They are hoping they could actually maybe show sure enough down towards the lower bomb site, push someone towards squeaky door. Not going to happen so far. Here comes Electronic, spots one, jumps up, falls back. You can see the call being made as well, letting them come to him. This looks so good. They're throwing the same nades they did for their top execute. It's finally fooling Na'Vi. 35 seconds, bomb towards the lower site, and Electronic has to hold it. Oh, the flash, perfect from Kenny. Bomb down. But that's the bomb, and Flamey has to hold. He has to get in, though. Boomich is already drawing more blood, and with 25 seconds, this is all on Jax. His back turned, and that was the best chance we've seen in so many rounds. The qualifiers for Katowice, no less, and now he's in the finals, and Boomich doing it again, this time versus the full buy. A taste of the flamey treatment from yesterday, a triple kill bomb in his grasp. As he will be deploying a Molotov, gives up his position at least, hoping that a CT will be close range towards there. Simple fires off a shot, Kenny, he'll answer back, bigger hole now. It's just a bit of a mind game at this point, but Simple, he'll always be winning those with a look to things here. And a knife kill, okay, Amanek, that's something, I suppose. But now the two versus one ends in its logical conclusion. Another fast approach f and g2 big spray down from boomage they've just stabbed each other and spawn as oh, well so nexus no. just got stabbed and spawned by a teammate you really don't like to see it ramp rush and the nade lands. let's go boys let's get another race for flamey oh, he's doing it all over again can he close things out in style what a half this has been so far amanek is trying to deny it but flamey wants blood Amanek, 1v5, he's gone as well. Of course, it's Boomich. Did he get the 30? Close, but not quite. 28. And we'll see what they can do here with a couple of flashes. The C set available. First kill for Electronic, though. Kenny S is dropped, and don't shoot your teammates in the face. Oh. Shoot the enemy. That's more like it. Flamey will adjust. And you can see a big smile on his face, but maybe not for long. Nexa will pull one back, and Jax, though, rotating. Looking towards lower. Needs some headshots here. They haven't really got going at all. Jax on six kills and 15 deaths. He's probably near the top. He absolutely is. Top fragger so oh. far. Speaking of which, Simple! He gets it done. Slam dunk towards the secret steps. And that's going to be the round. Simple's on Google Flights. Fast flights to flat France. <laughs> he can't find a faster way to send G2 home. My God! That's the end of that, 15 to one, call it done. 15 one right now, we've got scouts, pistols, MP9s, a UMP up against the three rifles here. Navi, they seem to have found more discipline as time goes on in this tournament, and it's really shining at this point. Electronic, a bit of a master towards lower. Jax though, got his number. Devilish tag, he does have the support of Nexus. this crossfire, if they get it right. Attention now drawn towards main, hey oh, but simple, he stood his ground. He played it so well, but with the flash and the MP9, bomb is loose, G2, a necessary win, and Nexa, he's just doubled his kills in the round and more. A quad kill from Nexa, a necessity, as they survive for one more round. And now, Yes, it's a 5v5, but we're interested in the duel in electronic. Ow. <laughs> he wins it out. Big start for Navi. You can see the difference in angle there. Simple was holding a much tighter line so he could take the shot and survive. Kenny was in a much more committed position. And electronic, he doesn't miss many. Just absolutely beautiful. Step a toe out of line. Well, they need to react at this point. Nexus made the call. They're going to push towards lobby, isolating Hunter here. He's a very strong player, but Boomich, he's just playing on another level at this point. He takes another one down, five versus two. Next and Amanek both towards their lobby position. They've both been spotted now. Bomb going down, one more kill with Secure, to be honest with you. No utility on the Na'Vi side, a chance they give this one up. Can't save the weapons here, boys. You've got to go for it with just one kit and damage inflicted, but kill by kill, they're getting back into it now. Through the squeaky door they go. Hit on Nexa, it's gonna be crucial. It's been taken away from him, pushing in. Amanek falls, it's confirmed. A 16 to four.
Na'Vi, I don't think anybody expected to see semi-final form again here in the Grand Finals, but map one is a good indication that they have managed to trap that lightning in a bottle. Here we go, G2 is gonna start taking a delayed long control. They wanna control this portion of the map. It's only Flamey here, this is the main hit, and Kenny, he's gonna be stuck on an island all alone. Utility ringing out, and here's the attack from Na'Vi. They wanna take this battle at range, and Kenny S gonna come out on top with the first. They've stalled him out at the corner. Na'Vi cannot pass, cannot move forward until Simple gets into the action. Well, that long push though, Flamey, huge kill, that traps Jax alone. The backstab is in now on oh. Moe, and he turns, a nice headshot coming through as Flamey goes down. That might have done it here. Two on three, they're low on health for the Na'Vi side. Even with the bomb plant, they're in a bit of trouble. Boomich immediately oh, shot no. down, but Electronic will steal it back. Absolute robbery. Na'Vi, I mean, they've, they never let their foot off the pedal on that first map on Nuke. If G2 can stall them out here, if they can, you know, slow them down a bit, get some more kills in place, it all counts, it all matters at the end. And you're trying to see if he can play around the smokes that Na'Vi have just put up on the catwalk right in front. Excellent shot with the Deagle, he's gonna turn for it, and they're still out there, they're spamming through and they'll catch him eventually, there's so many bullets coming his way. One of them was bound to connect. They're still waiting up there, and the smoke is going to be fading Ooh. soon. Nice shot from Jax. He nearly took down Simple. Can he do it one more time? He's doing so much damage, and there's a double grenade taking down Simple and Electronic and G2. They found a way into this second round so early on. Yeah, they've, they've pretty much won this. 15 seconds. I don't think Boomich has the ability, and he's just going to have to probably save this MAC-10, although Jax has dropped down. Another kill for him. Two in the round. That's a great shot. Timing peak. Making sure you dodge the flashbang and picking off the player meant to clear the close angles. And Hunter's gonna continue, he'll be able to spot them out, especially he might speed things up when he hears the nades and the communication from his team and he just misses the opportunity. He wants a clean shot, he's gonna tap away, he's gonna get Perfecto from behind. That should stall out the attack on Catwalk. And he falls back, not greedy, not sticking around for more headshots, that's so smart. And look at the nade damage as well, not a lot of utility, two smokes and a flashbang left for Navi to try and get into this bomb site, or try and do damage, but I think with 20 seconds, they might just call it all off. I don't know what I don't know what other plan there could be. If you thought you could do a lot of equipment damage in there with sort of takeaway rifles, maybe you'd want to go for it, but it seems unlikely, and they don't really have any money themselves, Navi, so... G2, this is really surprising, we saw nothing like this on the entire new map, pretty much. Hunter sneaking in, he's flanked all the way around to find a second kill on Flamey. And yeah, they're trapped in here. Time is out, are they gonna try and run them yes. down? If they die after the time is out, they're not gonna get the loss bonus and they'll at least make it through, but a four to one lead here. Yeah, some, of the, some of the shots he's been hitting today and yesterday especially, way out of control. Hunter, he's hearing them, but Simple's right in front. The gun barrel gonna be showing. Oh, he almost transfers it. Hunter through the door and he actually gets it. I think that was the last bullet. Taking down Simple, immense fight to be winning. And Boomich, Ooh. he jumps down, leaps off the catwalk to try and see if he can punish it. It's with a Mac 10. I don't think anyone's called it out. I don't think they know that he's here. You can see Hunter not even turning for it. Is that enough of an opening? And again, another attack up catwalk, but Kenny's attention isn't there. Look at Jax, he's running miles away. He could have been here already helping out, but they had the wrong call on the defense, so they need to win the fight. One good kill and another great follow-up from Perfecto, and they actually get the bomb side, and suddenly it's a two-on-two. Man, that's so interesting. Definitely some com communication problems here for G2 in this particular round. And now Boomich still down here with the Mac 10, and they know it. Kenny would have called that out to get the grenade in, a little bit of damage. The Mac 10 reigns supreme for a double, and Perfecto will close the round, and now V with a second round. Kenny wants to challenge on Catwalk, and he's gonna get it. Electronic walks right into him. He hadn't seen the aggressive position from the AWP before, and Kenny catches him off guard. Kenny alone with no backup, no one there to help him out. He was so confident in winning that fight. And it wasn't misplaced either. Eighth round here as Kenny will fall to simple down the middle. We'll see if they can make it around this corner. This is a crossfire set up for the G2 defense. They need someone to make contact. There's Nexa with one. Surely Perfecto, he's not gonna clear this corner. He doesn't look left. Oh, this is dangerous. Hunter, they know exactly where he is. And Flamey doesn't look either. Flamey just pulls out and tries to switch the weapon and they're all obliterated. It's the same setup. Perfecto and Upper Dark, four men in the catwalk. They just wait a bit longer this time and then they go for it. Now the advantage is, as we've been pointing out, there really are no grenades left on the CT side, so it's gonna be rough, but a nice shot through the smoke as Electronic jumps down, is definitely hurt, and Nexa will find him. Kenny looking to see if he can pick someone before they even get the bomb down, but they're gonna be planting on the catwalk side of that uh, A site, and now they're all holding there. They don't have any more grenades left either. This is gonna be interesting. These two flashbangs and Nexa and Jax. Oh, that's a great shot from Simple, and look at him step up to the plate, being more aggressive. 
Yeah, he doesn't want to get pushed back to the catwalk with the rest of his team. This is such smart play from Simple. He has to have some sort of presence on the bomb site itself. One flashbang here, that's the last one they have. Boomich trying to turn for it, but he stares right into it. It doesn't matter, Perfecto is playing anti-flash, and he's going to get the one next up with a double up, but still don't think it matters here. They're low on health coming in. Oh. Incredible headshot, but uh, yeah, again, Simple overrun, and they're just so far away. Four round lead now for G2 and fast pace, but Perfecto blind, he recovers just enough to find the kill. And they still have no idea Electronic is here at the stairs. Jax might just fall prey to it. Simple's gonna come up to play contact on him. There's the second peak. If Jax had killed Electronic, Simple would have been there to clean it up, and Kenny overextends, not expecting that level of aggression, and the defense crumbles. Hunter and Amanek must fall back. Well, that's a round that's lost to... Well, some pretty, some pretty clear things, right? The flashbang war out long was lost, that's one thing, but then the assumption that no one had actually pushed Catwalk yet. And Navi, though, starting to pick themselves up. The boost. Oh, boost, wow. he's gonna get one. Good find from Almanac. Just barely out of vision. It looked like they wanted to go fast out mid. That shuts it down. Again, G2 just doing, even in some of these losses they've done, such a very good job of stalling out Navi's earliest ideas across the map. And there's no investment from G2 outside of Hunter and Almanac what they've saved. That was a boost that they couldn't even see from T-Spawn. So the, the fact that there was an op looking didn't even make a difference. USP, and he walks right into it. Smokes, look like they're perfect. No gaps in that one. Grenade, actually is a very powerful grenade. And look at the time that's left. No Molotovs that's my real for this concern. position. No, you're right. They don't have anything to burn it out. What an excellent shot from Amanek. 15 seconds on the clock. And they started to move closer. Navi, they should be their round. This is the one that they almost get for free. They're just fighting a couple of rifles. Amanek with one of them, and he doesn't take down Simple. Four seconds left, and they're going to go for the bomb plant. And the Molotov, it's going to be a second too late. Boomich gets out and dodging. Next, there will be dropped Simple to bring it back. And another round for Navi. That's how he got one of those earlier fights against Electronic, and he's not all the way back. Timing shot there, and Electronic will take him down for the smoke. That's a nice entry, trying to follow it up and stay aggressive and maybe beat the timing against the backup that must surely be coming in. He knows that he's got the right read, but Nexa is just going to be a bit more accurate this time. Hunter looking over the middle saying, that is not going to be a B split. I've already got it checked out. He's actually still running to the B bomb side. They really think yeah. that's B. Oh, no. Yeah, Nexa got lured into the trap. Walking down the ramp, and again, another catwalk hit for Navi. And it has just been working so well after it was stopped a couple times. Navi found the winning recipe, and Simple is going to continue the challenge. All of them continue the challenges, fighting at the same time, and that's put Navi up 8 to 7. If you want to fight catwalk, then we'll bring that same flavor out now early on. And Simple is actually, oh, I was going to say, if he keeps running, they're right on top of him, and he knows he can't actually do anything to stop it here. Maybe snipe away a headshot, but he's going to have to wait for some teammates, or maybe. Just go for one of the jumps. He's still looking for it, turning around. He's pretty quick about it too. Now backup is being called in, and Boomich lands a headshot at range. The bomb is down, but they got to take a deep breath here, G2. Don't give this one up. You've got the bomb plant down. Now find some safe space to be in. See if you can maybe stay alive here. They get a kill on simple at least. Amanek playing close. It's Flamey and Electronic to help out, and what a retake. That's going to be interesting to see. Amanek and Hunter out in the middle, and... Dropping Flamey, continuing to fight. It's a pretty good return there for Electronic, which is a CC range. But, oh! Coming through is Simple with a headshot on Amanek. That's so brutal. He's throwing it right on top of uh, Electronic. Yeah, need a back on out. Don't take any damage. Simple. We'll find another kill next. So just, I think there was three people shooting at, at that moment. He even gets the headshot on Jax. And Kenny, one versus three, 40 seconds. It's going to be almost impossible. And Simple will find the quad kill here. And then the MP9 is going to be amazing. So I think that's the timing we're looking for here. If they can take him down before the flashbang comes through, then that's great news. A little bit of time being bought. Here comes the flash. Oh, actually, yeah, he turns for it. Not going to try and peek behind it. But then that's only 25 seconds. So even if they win the fight now, I don't think it's going to be quite enough time. That's a lot of damage being output. Vram Gumic gets the assist there on Hunter. And they managed, to, they managed to cool it down here. And what's really painful is they're going to have to sit out this round as well with just the two guns. But the lack of bonus money, here's the Molotov Extinguish, decides not to swing. That's a disadvantage. He goes it back for it, though. And that's why. Flashbang, even blind. Almanac already had the lineup. And he's charging, not checking the car. And Boomich, oh, he's holding the trigger. Wants to go for a double, and they'll have it as well. Simple showing up, and Boomich, what a nice triple kill with an MP9. He is so good with that weapon, and always has been. Hunter now, yeah, he wanted to be the late flanker for the eventual long hit and never got the chance. They're pretty quick on the catwalk. Amanek has been running through upper dark just to make sure no one is there. 
They clear the corner, and Simple is the one holding the A-bomb side. So if they manage to win the fight against him and the timing, they nearly catch him. Now if they keep pushing, they're on top of the Molotov. Electronic is there, and they go back to try and fight that duo. And so far, they don't come out on top. A monstrous grenade on top of Amanek and Nexa. And he's just calling it in, Simple. He loves this fight right now. Can just buy time for the team to get here or set up for more executes. Oh, that is actually looked like they were both flashed. They still win the fight. And it's a three on three. Boomich, pretty quick up catwalk. That spray as he's falling back, still dinks Amanek. And next are in a one versus three. Navi are such a good CT sided team on this map, and it's showing right now. Next are turning. He needs two more headshots. There's the one, the follow up, and he gets it. They have one smoke here. G2 to try and get into it. Now it could work, but you are not going to get a second chance. Flamey holding one angle, Perfecto with a crossfire on the other. Oh, and he gets instantly shocked. Jax, another great entry. And Perfecto, two kills would be too much to ask for. He got the one and a lot of damage, and that's still pretty good. Kenny holding middle, and they're just they're going to save. They're not even going to try and get close to it. Electronic, actually forward from the Molotov, and he's in so much trouble. He should be dead. I can't believe he got that kill. That's very impressive. Well, let's see if he can even beat the grenades here. Gonna be raining down all across him. 55 seconds, they jump down, now they're right on top of him. If he misses one more shot, they'll absolutely take him down. And I don't think he knows there's a second player there right around the corner. But Boomich from Long will help him out. Amanek nearly made it ways with the smoke. 45 seconds, oh. a missed chance, and he's low on health himself. The bomb is down, and it's a two on four. And G2, how can they defend this? A jumping shot will get his face blown off. Nexa quick with the AK-47. And now two on three. Nexa and Kenny, can they pull one more miracle here? It's Flamey to get the kill, and Nexa alone. They're all shooting at him, and he can't stand up to it. They still don't know. They might think this is clear now. That's a mistake. Nexa gets oh. one, a follow-up from Simple. They thought they had it cleared out. They thought they had already done the homework there, and he punishes them right away. Three versus five now. They, could, they should be able to get rid of him. They have another Molotov. There should be no way that he could stay alive in this corner. But look at how much attention and just utility he's grabbing. That's two Molotovs and an HE and two players dead on the G2 side. It's information gathered as well. So Flamey can play alone with his AWP. Excuse me, I said it incorrectly at the start of the round. He did have one. It was Boomich and Simple juggling, like you said, due to the spawn. So Flamey's going to be Ooh. positioned. That's an uh, incredible shot from Kenny S. He might have just opened up the whole bomb site. Smoke wall is up, and Boomich can't do anything except wait for his teammates. Some utility. Oh, do they really want to try and go through? They go for the boost, and that's revealed right then and there. No one to shoot for the smoke. They want to reboost it again, but the bomb is already down. They had this round. Simple had already given it to them, but now they might be in a little bit of trouble here. The smoke is finally going to be fading, and they have one of their own to try and block out long, but they don't know about that car yet, and that's an issue. Perfecto lining up and could have been a huge double kill. Now Hunter falling back with the Krieg. He's solo on health again. He's going to have to try and look for headshots, and that is, that is a great run. Simple flashbang is out. Oh, and he's got the reaction. He's got the reaction he wanted. That's going to let him know how close they are. There's the smoke wall being put up, but I, I don't know if G2 wants to go for this just yet. They might just have to. They have no more smokes. They have to use these to cross. It all comes down to this. Yeah, they don't have a choice. See if they can do it, if they can get it into overtime or not. Hunter going down early on. Navi, they were behind early on on Dust2, but they're looking to win the second map of the Grand Finals here. It's simple to get dropped as he's trying to escape through the smoke, and Flamey will fall next. Electronic, wide peak, but he doesn't get shot down long from that AWP. And Nexa, two health left. Kenny, he pushes up long. He wants to go and help out before Nexa has to fight on his own. And that bomb is only just planted. He's got a great angle here, Kenny. I don't think they'll expect it. They are kind of looking for it, but a nice headshot to bring one down. Is he ready to flick? That's the Krieg right in front. If he misses the chance, he's gone. Kenny with the leg shot. That might be everything they need here. And now only a couple of seconds left. Perfecto on one point of health. Oh. He gets a shot. It's the time for it. He's going to run for yeah, it straight away. It. And there will be a second map here in the finals. Simple stands up, celebrating already 16 to 13. And it's happening again. Bomb will go down courtesy of Kenny. But now look at the aggression from the G2 boys. They're taking control of jungle and trying to take it by force. But Simple, he bides his time. And Info Jack's going to call it out. But Simple seems so wise. He knows there's another, finds the angle. And he's playing it like a beast. He gets no. one. Four versus three. Made, oh my goodness, five versus two. Excuse me. They're multiplying. And another retake from Na'Vi looking successful. Yeah, it looks like the round is done, unfortunately. Bomb planted, but another. Extraordinary retake there from Na'Vi. No armor, a single HG for Amanek. 
As we move into the next round, big spray down, a triple kill. It's the quad, and Flamey's got another race. He keeps racking them up. Flamey with the AK towards short. Has 11 a and zero. That's nuts. Untouched, the 12th added to the list. He's putting coal in all the stockings of G2 at this point. Another one, perhaps on the cards, and it gets away. Scar free, no issues for Flamey. He can tuck in on B, and G2, they've got 40 seconds to find a way back in. Simple. He closes the door on this round, and oh, Kenny, humiliated. Famas bullets find his spine, and now just two remain, Nexa and Amanek. They've got plenty of time, but Boomich is on the prowl. He's locked them in. They don't want to be here at all. He's coming in towards the top of middle. The MP9, the master of the weapon, does find the bomb towards top of middle. Just have to sit back and wait. He could die after the timer here. This would actually be perfect for Boomich. If he gets his kill, <laughs> call it done because you'd have no money going forward there. But Amanek will be able to hold on to the rifle. Is there any way I could get a few shots off as well? Just his teammates. Oh, oh no! God. Big spray down coming in, but Boomich not ready for it. A chance now for G2. They're going to have to swarm the A side. Get the bomb down quickly. As soon as they get a way in, Someone gets one tap through the smoke. Flamey's 13th straight through. They will be planting on that tri box. Oh, 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 he would have been <laughs> miffed if I was Hunter and Simple pulled the trigger a second earlier, but now they've got a shot at this. Disadvantage for the retake. We know how good these retakes have been, though. The problem is the T's only have a couple of flashbangs remaining. Kenny S will have to be combative here. He needs to land some shots, but it's electronic that completely removes him from the equation. Hunter locked in by the flames. He's going to go down. It's a three versus one, and Jax is nowhere to be seen. He's at the connector right now. He'll probably get this first kill towards Simple, but I think the defuse will be coming in momentarily. Here it comes. It. Can he stop this? Absolutely not. That's saying something. He has 13 frags. Well, at least he does bleed. He's at least been taken down... A this point, one death to his name, a hunter. He snuck through behind enemy lines here. Great shot towards Electronic. Another good advantage here. Not held on to though. It's going to be Flamey that brings it back to the four and four. Smokes towards the palace. Needs to focus towards Connector now. Kenny S one step ahead of him. That's his first frag of the half towards Connector. Perfecto will fall back. Simple. Holds towards the vent. Oh God, he's too good. Hunter waiting for the smoke to go down. Hopefully find himself a couple of freebies. There's the first call by Simple. That's twice. Hunter has done more than enough to get that opening kill. Heroics from Nico's cousin. 4v4. Oh, avoids that flash. And he has a very tight line for the default cross. It's going to be obscured, but that's to set Perfecto up for some damage. Electronic draws their fire. Oh, and the timing could be perfect. Backs a turn. He hears it. Perfecto. One kill. Seven rounds. He still doesn't need to do anything. Electronic's just lining him up. Four remain. It's a triple kill. Perfecto collects his second and seven now for Na'Vi's defense. Na'Vi, boost up towards window. He said, Hunter, this is a special move. He's done it again. Undetected for now. He's going to really do damage here, and he doesn't hesitate to take down Electronic. Upgrades his weapon. Nexa catches the duel on Boomich. Things starting to spiral now for the Na'Vi defense. Operating with just three, and they're really sporadically spread across Mirage. Simple left to his own devices to hold this ramp push. They are only deagles, and he is tucking in towards the default position. First shot missed. Jack's looking to react. A second. Simple, where are you? Running out of options, but still the no scope connects. He needs another one. Finally, Perfecto's arrived, and he's found himself a double bombs on default, and the round just crumbles in the hands of G2. I feel like they're so scared of Simple's presence and the bombs are there. No one wants to run into his AWP cross there whatsoever. Amanek will be taken down. That's two opening picks for G2. Next run, Jackson, two kills. It's a similar story to the start of the game, and Kenny S is just getting removed. He didn't pull the trigger. I, I'm not sure if he couldn't see him there, but from the POV we saw, there was certain vision, but either way, Hunter does pull him back. The only player that's really fragging right now for G2. This is more of a game than just reaction times. And the fundamentals, it's about the mind, and Boomich, he's cold as ice onto the first. Good spray control from Electronic at that range, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's pretty perfect, actually. Very difficult to pull that move off. And they go towards CT Sport, unfortunately, lad, you've got a couple of players ready and waiting, that's perfecto. Can he bring in his AWP to the uh, top mid party as well? He's been taken down. At least Jax has him jiggling to try and draw the Kenny shot. Now exposed as the smoke fades, Electronic trying to draw him back. Desperation right now. He's got 11 ADR. He hasn't had any input to this game whatsoever so far. Down he goes. Remember, no armor. The M4 just chews through him. And he's alone. Where's the spacing? Where's the basic team play there? Oh, it's just clinical. One by one. 
They throw themselves against the rocks that is painted yellow and black. That's, uh, he has got big clutch potential, but for some reason, and for the first time in my career, I'm cheering for a player not to die. Ten, two assists, zero deaths. That would be so deaths. insane if he finishes with no kills. Uh, uh, that's, no got, kill. that's got to be some sort of red. Lifting a trophy without even dying on a map. I don't even know that's a record we kept track of as they make their way towards A. More of the same, I'm afraid. Boomer just absolutely going to town here. Lots of damage inflicted. They've got the man advantage. But I've got a good feeling about this. G2 can make this work, but oh. maybe not so much. The kills for the smokes are a little bit too much to handle. No. Oh no! They've had enough. They're already dead at this point. No! no. no. With the knife, please! No! That's not okay! <laughs> not two of them. Who is the spearhead of this assault? Nexer and Jax. Swinging in, but Boomich gets enough time and he holds his spray. So confident in the pattern. Another chance. Good flash this time actually from his teammates, excuse me. Blinding him and forcing him into an awkward fight. It will be Amanek who already though, keeping things level, advantage maintained for Na'Vi. Has to be more than that. And now we go, Amanek and Hunter, they're keeping it competitive, but at what cost? He's only got 22 health to make this clutch a reality. Good flashes though, there's a chance here. He did spot a player, but couldn't pull the trigger in time. Amanek makes his way towards the steps and he's got Perfecto, who hasn't gone down, I believe. He completed the perfect half. Pretty remarkable scenes here. They've got so much buffer room, it's unbelievable. They swarm towards the A side, dunk an A towards Jack. A couple of bullets will take him down. He has to fall back. It's the bomb planted already. We've seen this many times before. Can they be as efficient as Na'Vi on the retake? I'm not so sure. Good flash bandits in CT spawn. And now they will make their way towards that position, a dink towards Hunter. It goes from bad to worse. They do have a diffuse kit and a smoke. And that's on the back of Amanek here, but they need to find a lot of kills first. It's gonna be perfect on a strike first. The first death he's had in this entire Entire map. They finally silenced Perfecto. He's like, what is this screen and what is that from Kenny? Quick triple all onto Boomich. Incredible on Nuke and a stray bullet through the smoke doesn't look likely and the defuse will come in and G2, a necessary win, but there's so many more to come from that one. Boomich under pressure, but. B split to come in, Alex. Now smoke towards connector. That's been deployed, that's short. Flash band to come round, not the most ideal weapon for the job, but the HE might soften them up. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my Ooh. goodness, about a hundred there. We'll see them come. Oh, okay, perfecto. Amanek needs one more here, but they know exactly where he is. That's the problem. He'll buy some time. He'll do what he can here. They drop down and they'll find him. Kenny Esso has been playing well so far. Flamey has got his number, however. It's now a four versus two. Nexa and Jax, no kid available. Flank coming in from the latter. MP9 in the hand. Two kills, 16 deaths so far. Looks towards the bench. No one spotted, and now he has been. Smoke available. Nexa charges in. Low HP players here. He could pull this one off. Two versus one now. Bomb ticking away, but no kits. He'll need to find a quick kill, smoke the bomb, get a defuse going. But he has no idea where these last two remaining players are. Electronic hasn't missed many so far. Inflicts serious damage towards Nexa. Looks like we might have championship point here, and we certainly do. 15-2. Lost for words. Flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, truly. And look at Electronic, he's just exuding confidence. He hasn't let go of W and he's punished for it. Nexa now has a Krieg to fight this one off. And Kenny, he's not going down without a fight. Interesting maneuver at championship point, I have to say, but still they're making it work. <laughs> two versus two, and it's going to be simple and flamey, <gasps> who just seem to be taking matters into their own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. There it is, your champions are going to be Na'Vi. It's a 3-0 clean sweep here in the grand final. This is a legit team.